Hello everyone, welcome back to Sniff with Steph. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all the support. Today we're doing an Okja haul. If you don't know what Okja is, it's an incredible dupe brand. They do inspirations or dupes of so many incredible niche designer luxury fragrances. So I have purchased three Oaksha fragrances that I'm really excited to share with you guys and I will give you the tea on are these fragrances close to the originals and do I even like them would I wear them I would really appreciate if you guys would subscribe like this video and follow me on Instagram let's get to it the first fragrance I want to talk about from Oaksha is Night in Cans First of all, I love these bottles. I think they're really elegant, sleek, sophisticated. I'm a big fan. And this is a dupe for Feb Delicios by Dior. Now, I will say I've never smelled the original Feb Delicios. It's the only one in this haul that I haven't smelled, but I will give you my take on this fragrance. And I will say that every other Oksha fragrance I've smelled has been very similar, if not like spot on to the original. So this fragrance, why is it so hard to get the cap off? There you go. Two hours later. This is a very powdery fragrance. If you do not like powdery fragrances, I don't think you'll like this. There's something about it that's a little muddled. You know, to be honest, this fragrance isn't really for me. Feb Delicios, if you don't know, it's a, it's a Tonka Bean Gourmand fragrance. It has a bajillion notes. It has cherry and chocolate and Tonka Bean and vanilla and all of these delicious gourmand notes, caramel. But what I really get from Night in Cans... It ha definitely has an aromatic touch in the beginning. You get the lavender and some spices but it's all cocooned with this very intense powdery vibe. And it smells a little mature and vintagey to me, to be honest. And I've heard this before about this fragrance, Feb Delicios. People either love it or hate it. Because of that strong powder note, it can be quite polarizing. It's not the kind of gourmand that I usually go for. I prefer something a little, a little less powdery and a little more like smoky or sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I just, you really get those aromatic touches, that lavender and those spices, and it really stays throughout the whole fragrance. And it is sweet, but it's not too sweet. I was expecting it, honestly, to be a little sweeter than it is. And it's just extremely powdery. I can't tell you how it compares to the original, but I've heard all of these things about the original, so I'm kind of glad I didn't blind buy the OG because this is just not my vibe. It's too mature and it's too powdery. No hate to anyone who loves this fragrance. I know there are so many people who adore Fev. There's so many notes and they're all kind of muddled together and I don't really get the gourmand touches in there. I mostly just get aromatic and powder. Let me know what you guys think about Fev and if you've tried Night in Cans by Okja. The next one I have to say impressed me so much and this is Torrid Day. And this is a dupe or inspiration of Tom Forbes Tobacco Vini. Now, I do not own Tobacco Vini, but I'm very familiar with the scent. I know what it smells like. And let me tell you guys, this is spot on. Like there is, this is probably 99% dupe of Tobacco Vini. What I really get from Tobacco to Vini, surprisingly, I don't get that much tobacco and I don't get that much vanilla. To my nose, both in Torrid Day and the OG, I get this cacao chocolatey nuances that's really delicious and gourmand, accompanied by lots of kitchen spices. I get like Christmas spice vibes from this fragrance. It really does smell like the holidays. It smells like Christmas. There's something about it. I think I get a very large dose of cloves. Now in the notes, it just says spicy notes. I'm sure clove is included in that because in both the OG and Torrid Day, I get a big dose of clove, which really gives this fragrance kind of a piney, Christmassy kitchen spice vibe. But I also get that deep, delicious cacao and those chocolatey nuances stay the whole length of the fragrances for me. And let me just say, this is exactly the same as the OG. I went to the mall yesterday and I sprayed 
Tobacco Vini on my hand and I could literally not tell a difference between Torrid Day and Tobacco Vini. If anything, the clove in this one is a little amped up. The spices are a little amped up and this is stronger. This is 100% stronger. When I tell you with Okja fragrances, they're all extract to perfume. So when you spray it on yourself, you will get a huge glimmer of oil and this is just so potent. In my opinion, you cannot go wrong with this one. If you love Tobacco Vini, you will love this. They are identical, pretty much. And this is stronger, more oily, more concentrated, and packs more of a punch. So I highly recommend this. I think it's a like gorgeous dupe. They did such an incredible job with this. And yeah, for all you Tobacco Vini lovers out there, definitely go out and purchase Torrid Day. Now, lastly, we have a dupe for one of my favorite fragrances in the world, and that is Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. And here we have Callan, which is supposed to be an inspiration of uh, Gentle Fluidity Gold. Now, this one isn't as close as Tobacco Vini. I'm gonna be super real with you guys. It definitely gives me the same vibes of Gentle Fluidity Gold. And it is very close. Like when I smell this, I smell Gentle Fluidity Gold, but when I had them side by side, there were noticeable differences. What I get from this, it's less vanillic and it's less sweet and it's a little more aromatic and powdery. When I smell, I have the original right here. <laughs> when I smell this, let me just do a side by side for you guys. Gentle Fluidity Gold is sweeter and more vanillic, 100%. Yeah, I'm finding that Callan is a little more powdery, a little more fresh and less sweet, and I don't like it as much. It's the same vibes, and I do think that the more Callan dries down on your skin, the more it smells like Gentle Fluidity Gold. Typically with dupe houses, the dry down is where the magic happens. So definitely bear that in mind, especially with this one. Uh, I don't know, there's something a little sharp in this, it's just not as sweet and smooth and delicious as Gentle Fluidity Gold. I would say this is maybe like an 80% dupe, 85 at best. Uh, if you like one, you'll probably like the other, but I don't think it holds up to Gentle Fluidity Gold. And to be honest, I've tried the Juliana's Perfume version as well. And although those aren't identical either, I do think that the Juliana's Perfume dupe comes closer than Callan. So I'm always gonna keep it real with you guys. I'm always gonna be super honest. This was not so much of a love for me. It was a like and I can see the similarities, but it wasn't above 90% as a dupe. As a kind of roundup for you guys, if you love Fev, I haven't tried the original, but this, uh, it was just not my vibe and I, I have a feeling I wouldn't like the original either. I still think you should try this out and I still think Oksha is an incredible dupe house. As for Torrid Day, it's a spot on dupe. I literally could not tell the difference and it's stronger than the OG. And I just still prefer the original Gentle Fluidity Gold. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are more fragrances you would like me to try from Oksha, let me know in the comments and I will happily oblige. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.